I'm going to use this video to answer some questions from our members. In a portrait painting, how to show the edge of the face turning around? If you want to learn more portrait painting with me, please come to join our Enjoying Art learning community. Just go to enjoyingart.com and click on Become a Member. The channel is all about how to learn art with relaxation. If this is the first time to our channel, please subscribe and turn on notification. First, I'm going to do some printing and composition. I'm going to use this HB graphite pencil to do a little study. And I'm going to print on the top over here would be uh, the top of the head with the flower. And I'm going to put it about right here. Okay, so I'm going to put the mark over here and the chin, I'm going to point it over here. You got to start from somewhere, plan something first. The width is going to depend on how high the head would be. So roughly the face would be here. And now we're going to find the proportion. The height is already defined. Okay, we're not going to change the height. We're going to base on the height to find out the width. Now I'm going to do a little measurement. Take a look at I'm going to take the side bend to the side bend. Okay. Interesting. The width of the face from this side bend to this side of the face is just half of the length. So now I'm going to put the mark over here, double check. It's perfect. Okay, that's good. So this is half of the height. That's just the width of the face. It's very much like what I planted, but Double check on that, this, and come on this side. So this is, will be the side button. And the little side button over here, and coming over here, and the ear will be there. Uh, we have portrait classes at Enjoying Art. So if you're interested, just come take a look. Uh, just go to enjoyingart.com slash classes. Okay, that's good. This is the eyebrows. And usually from the eyebrows to the chin, uh, the nose would be right in the middle. I'm going to put it over here. And it looks like about the middle. So I'm going to put it right over there. I'm going to double check. Okay, that's good. So we find the vertical space between this. And now we're going to find the space between the nose and the chin. And take a look. And then this time will also be a good idea to mark down the center line of the face. The mouth is about one third from the, the nostril to the chin. But the mouth is a little bit more. Okay, we're going to divide that into one third, a little bit more. And we're going to move it a little bit higher. And like that. And this would be the location of the whole mouth. And divide it into half. The lower part of the mouth, a little bit bigger. The upper is just a little bit smaller. And then the chin is about this much. Maybe this come out a little bit. So that's good. After you have a very good foundation of drawing skill, and you don't have to go through the same detailed drawing, but when you're at the beginning of learning portrait, please do spend more time on the printing. Okay, make sure you print it right before you start going into the painting. I'm going to start painting with my one inch flat brush. And the only two brushes I'm going to use through this entire painting process. It may be a little scary. And because at the beginning, all we're looking for is the bigger shape, bigger color composition between the background, the shadow side, the lights of the face and the flower over here. We're going to have all those big color all planned out. This brush would force you to think about big shape, big relationship. And then later, and we're going to come in with the click fit brush. And these two brushes is a very good combination for any painting that we are going to do. If you need these two brushes, it just go to Enjoying Art Store to purchase them. I'm going to start with basic color for the face. So I'm going to take a little yellow color. I only use the three primary colors. If you're not sure what three primary colors that I use, the name, how to get them, just go to Enjoying Art Store and you can find the link to the different materials. And get a little bit more red, that become orange. 
and her face very much orange color, but it's not really that bright. So what I'm going to do is take a little of blue color, okay, and and that's it, and make it a little bit, a little bit less bright. And I'm going to start with this color. And I'm going to start from right from the top over here. Do you know what? I'm going to get into inside of here over here. Start from there, and using a large brush is a very very efficient because you can fill in the space really fast. I'm going to leave the uh, inside the eye. Yeah, we serve that white space. Just use the corner of this brush. That's good. So you don't need to be busy painting, but thinking, observing, and think about what color is supposed to be. Still have a little water in the brush. That's just good. Now I'm gonna come in over here and just take a look at when it's still wet. You can just lift up the color. So basically, just take the color up. Now I'm gonna make this to be a little lighter space. At this step, we are building up the structure of the face by using light and darker colors. And under the chin over here, we're gonna make this area a little bit lighter. Just use the corner of this brush. That's good. We are going to go into the background then. I'm gonna take this color and maybe start from this color. Start over here. But I'm gonna change the color to others. I'm gonna change that to other colors, I'm going to just use this two color alternate coming down. So interesting. So I'm going to have this color actually merge into uh, the flower space. I'm going to take the little bit more red color. Here you go, coming over here. In the hair area, you can paint it in inside the hair color. That is will be fine. The hair is just darker than the background. And like that. And now we pay attention to the side over here. And the shoulder, change the color a little bit, have a little bit more red, even a little bit darker, like that. When it's soft, it's gonna mix, join together, be a little creative. Try something new, try something you never done before. And this is how uh, we get better. And okay, I'm gonna make this even darker than the flower, uh, the red flower right over here. Try something scary. Okay, that's good. Now I want to set a little color into the flower at the top. So now I'm gonna use just the red color. Take a little red. I'm gonna come in over here. Just put the color. Don't look at the smaller details. It's just looking for the whole flower, how it looked like. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to use a little bit lighter. A little bit, just a little lighter. Add a little bit more water, like that. The petal at the bottom, a little bit lighter. So when we use the calligraphy brush to work into the detail, it will be much, much easier. And over here, a little bit lighter. So we can have the contrast between the background and the inside the flowers. Okay. Like that, that's good. All right, there's two flowers over there. I'm going to have the red, just the red color. And coming over here, you can see. We're gonna do the yellow flower a little bit later. Okay, coming over here. If they're touching into the background, that will be fine. I'm gonna soften the edge like that. So this, you see how much the big brush, the fly brush can do for you. I'm gonna take a little bit darker red color. Just look at the corner over here. Just set over here, a little bit darker at the bottom. Like that, the same thing over here in the middle. I'm gonna set a little bit darker, like that. And let's tap it over here. And over, over here too, this area, a little bit darker. A little bit over here. And we're gonna come back to clean it up. Uh, and in this area, and also I have a little flower over here. If the water merge into the outside, uh, that will be fine, okay? So what I would like to do right now, I'm going to just remove all the wet in the brush. Now I'm going to just move that the border, make it a little bit softer. Move the border outside like this. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit light shape right over here for this flower petal. Just move it up. 
Now I'm gonna take a look at the hair is more like a brown, so I'm gonna take this and a little bit yellow and take a little bit blue. Now that's just the color for the hair. Okay, maybe a little bit yellow, a little bit red, so it appear to be more as brown. So take this color, I'm gonna start adding it here. Just use portion of this flat brush. Okay, coming over here, and there's the sideburn. Okay, don't be afraid of it. And if you make a mistake, and there's a part of the process. Okay, coming like this, use the corner, tap on that. Okay, that's good. And coming over here, like that. And let it have something uh, unexpected. You are looking for some more challenge as you paint. You don't need to worry about that you want to have a full control for everything. In that case, there will be no surprises. Surprises are usually good, right? Okay, good. Like that. And that's the space for the hair. I'm going to tap a little bit on the sideburn over here. This is good. I'm going to come down over here, maybe a little bit too wet for the hair over here. But I'm going to just set a little bit color over here. Just a little bit. Make it even darker. Just set a little bit. See that? That's good. Just looking for the edge. That's good. Right. And some of you may uh, also like John Singer Sargent's painting, her painting style. And you can see that, that he would like to use the brush bigger, push your control, and how much you can do with the large brush. Okay, like this. Now this is good. We can make the hair even darker a little bit later. Now I'm going to start coming to use a calligraphy brush. I'm going to start from the top. Take a little red color and take it over here like this. A little bit blue. That's it. And I'm going to do this area. I'm going to put it down like this and moving it a little bit. Okay. This area is still a little bit wet. So move a little bit shape in over here. And that's good. Like that. And take a look at the tip of the brush, and you can, okay, over here, like that. You can get into a very, very tiny space, and you still have the control, like that. That's good. And coming over here, we might be want to do these two flowers look a little bit different. So I'm going to get a little bit uh, blue color from here. I'm going to have that this and looking at the, for the bigger shape not the smaller shape okay like that simple maybe at this point I'm gonna add some darker color right at the outside over here so right now it's still a little wet so this is a good time I'm gonna come in over here set a little color over here and if the top over here is still a little wet that is good like that That's good. And a little dark color right over here, like that. Okay, on this side, set a little bit dark color right over here. And then look at the side over here. Also use the same dark color coming through. But this is good. The value is very close to, to the background. So that's why we intentionally don't want this edge to stand out too much on the top of the, the head because we want the face having the maximum uh, attention. So it's coming over here, it's good. Now coming on this side, take a look and have a little bit, leave a little bit light shape over there. Now on the side over here, like that, that's good. And, and even make this area, the hair, a little bit darker. And we can come back to do the Transition, a little bit later. Transition is easy to do. Okay. And uh, coming on the side over here, 
like that one brush and the other brush and like that and we're gonna have another flower right over there and in the middle over here have a little bit darker okay here you go just a couple brush stroke and that's good like that and I'm going to do something to change the hair a little bit because from the reference they here a little bit too tight looking at the side over here I'm gonna now you can see the big contrast between the outside of here and the face but we're gonna soften that okay right over here now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter get, get a little bit yellow get a little bit red so I make it a little bit more brown color so I'm gonna open up this brush make it look like a little bit more like a, a flat brush as well so I'm gonna have the color have a little bit open I like that I'm gonna keep it now coming on this side take a look at the shape of the ear like that we're gonna do this I'm gonna open that up like that that's good and over here so very easy to control the points with this brush and also it take in a lot of paint and you can just keep using it for a while before you need to come back to reloading okay, so go. and you can reform the shape if you want to coming in over here I think it's come down a little bit that's good like that have that coming through a little bit some here coming out that's good the sideburn over here we can come down a little bit and just clear all the wet uh, all the color in the brush and just have a little bit a little bit soft coming down that's good like that and at this point I'm gonna add a little bit uh, lighter brown color I'm gonna take this it looks like much better have a little bit yellow now that's good i'm gonna actually have this a little bit softened okay like that have a little bit softened and over here a little bit softened that's the color become really soft now i'm gonna come a little bit lighter color now this color have a little bit more yellow and this good i'm gonna take this color now I'm going to merge into that, merge into here, and here you go. Now, take the color, but there's a little bit lighter version of the same color. Now I'm going to soften it, nice. Remove that, that's a little bit too much. Just remove a little color that's simple that's good now coming down take a look at around the eye and take this color a little bit warmer right here and don't look at inside the eye look at around the eye that's very important okay looking for the structure of the face now around the eye over here a little bit darker red it's going to take a little bit brown color warm brown color that's good like that so here you go and coming on this side a little bit darker over here like that and take a look around on this side it's a little bit more color a little bit darker and you can see the turning on the upper eyelid it actually on this side getting a little light from the background under the eye it's a little bit darker like that that's good this can be a little bit softer okay that's good a little bit softer just open this calligraphy brush it's really moldable and it's very easy to change it okay here you go like that 
soften that a little bit on the other side. So we'll come back to the nose a little bit later. Now we'll come to the side over here. It's very important. Most member uh, always think about this as pretty light. It's just not that light. I'm going to actually have a little bit blue color here too. You can see this color actually this dark, at least this dark. Okay, like this. Okay, softly blend it over and coming down to the neck. And the neck have a little bit more red set coming down over here. That's good. Like that. And make it a little bit darker. At this step, you make sure you get the color dark enough. Don't be afraid of. You make it dark enough, even darker, just put the color in. And then if it's too dark, most likely it's not going to be too dark. It's just going to be perfect. And if it's too dark, it's just going to soften it and lift it up with the large brush. Okay, now coming over here. And this whole neck is darker. So you don't want to look at the local area too early because when you look at the local area between the, the face and, and, and the cheek over here within the area, that's always have some darker color than that or a lighter color within the area. So you don't want to use like a, the value of from very light to very dark applied to every areas. This is not, not good, right? Now I'm going to soften this area coming here still. The watercolor is each application. It will take like a few minutes before it dry. So it's no worry. I'm going to get a little red color for the cheek over here. I'm going to put it right over here. Okay, like that. And we're going to reply the fresh blue color a little bit later. And on the other side, this is very much a little blue color, the same thing coming through over here. And on the edge, here you go. And we can see a little reflected light from the side. And on here, you can transition, have some better transition. Okay, like this. Make it a little stronger, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit red, a little pure red. I'm going to take the pure red over here, have some yellow, that's right. Too much. Let go of that, have a little bit red. There's a little bit more like an orange color. So I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it right in here. You see that? I'm going to put it right in here. Okay. Open the brush a little bit. Now, have a little transition over here. That's good. Now on this side, just softly blend it like that. And the inside over here, have a little bit, just a little bit more water. And into the nose, that's fine. Like that. We still try to create the form. Okay, now I'm going to have this little bit gray. Now I'm going to put it right on this side. They actually start over here. It look a little bit darker. Now wrap around the mouth. Come here. They're under the mouth. And a little bit shape. And on this side, keep looking for where's darker on the edge over here i'm going to put a little bit darker color again and here you go under the neck that's good now i'm going to just open up a little bit with this brush and just soften it very easy and like that and this color extended coming over here like this and now Put attention into the ear. I'm going to get a little bit red color and put it right here. See that? There's a lot of red color in the ear. There's a lot of red color over here. A little red color here. Now, clean my brush and just extend it. Have a little bit soft transition like that. 
And that color looks really good, but I probably want it to be a little bit darker as well. So first I'm going to do a little blue color. I'm going to have a little blue color, put it in here first. Okay, have it even a little bit blue. And a little bit darker color here. I'm going to have a little bit brown color. So when you use the um, fry brush, it's really helpful, help you to focus on the darker and lighter area in a bigger connection. I'm going to soften it a little bit. Just use this corner and coming over here. I'm going to have a little bit more blue from the side over here and the side of the, the eye over here. Okay, have that a little bit darker. You may be feeling kind of, oh, stop, 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 too much. Okay, it's not, not even enough. So just let yourself be trusted, making sure it has enough. On the neck over here, could be a little bit darker on this side, like that. On this side, a little bit darker, turning over. I'm gonna have a little bit red color, a little bit darker, this kind of color, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit darker, like that. This is a very important step. I'm going to use the calligraphy brush. I'm going to start working into around the eye a little bit more. Now I'm going to mix a little brown color. So let's get the yellow and the red color. And get a little bit blue. Now, this is good. Like this. Now, coming from here. Just take a look at the base color. We're still working on that base color. That's good. I'm looking on this side. Okay, the top over here. Coming over, that's good. And the lower eyelid. Add a little bit on that. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit brown color. A little bit darker. This is good. And I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, uh, with this color, I also go into set a little beige tone for the eyebrows. Like that. And on this side. And then leave it up like that. Now I'm gonna come in, take a look at the nose. Now I'm gonna use a little bit red, just the red color, see that? There's a very tiny, tiny red. Now I set it right over here. Okay. Now coming around, that's good. On this side, shade it a little bit. So with this, you can see the highlight become a little bit more exclusive. Okay, now coming on uh, the front over here, that right here, that shade it a little bit and you can leave the highlight area. And coming to the side of the nose, like that coming over here. We still need a little bit more details for the lip. Okay, like this, a little bit. Now slowly, little by little, uh, we're actually making more and more convincing details for the person. Okay, like that. Take a look. Be able to have a brush that combine a multiple brush function together. This is very helpful. Okay, like this. And on the highlight area, I'm going to leave it. Leave it a little bit lighter, like that. painting around over here. That's good. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a little soft brush, connect that 
have a little small transition. Okay, and now I'm gonna look it into inside the eye. I'm gonna take the same color, start from a little bit lighter, gradually get a little bit darker. So take a look inside the eye over here. That, that's good. All right, I'm gonna use the same color. Just put the suggestion for the iris. That's good. I'm gonna paint it around the highlight. Take a look at the position of the highlight. To get a little bit dark line above. That's good. Like this. At the bottom, I have a little bit red. A little bit more like a warm brown color. Like that. That's good. At the corner, I have a little bit this color. And we're going to do the uh, eyelashes a little bit later. Let's move on to the other side. Okay. Take a look. Yeah, take a look right here. The line starting over here. Now coming over on here. And we're going to gradually make it a little bit darker. So that's a little bit darker like that. Okay, let's take a look at the warm brown color. I'm going to add a little bit red into this color so it look a little bit warmer. Now I'm going to take a look at the iris and the thing is right here. Look at it. Draw the shape first. And we're going to look in the inside the shape. How dark is the color? And how much red? How much blue? How much yellow? Okay. Now where's the highlight? The highlight is right in the middle over right here. Look at the top, come down a little bit. That's good. Right in here. Okay, be a little careful. But you don't need to be nervous. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to see the edge like that. That looks very good. And I think we're going to make it a little bit more brown. So get a little bit red and a little yellow color. Okay, that's look a little bit more brown. Okay, now I'm gonna put this, tap it on it. So use this, make the bottom over here a little bit more brown, that's good. And this a little bit more brown, this is still wet, so tap the color on it, that's good enough. Now at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit eye line suggestions and use this color is okay. At the end, the eye line need to be even darker. So I'm gonna come in over here. While we're doing this, at the part of the painting, the paper is getting dry as well. So we're gonna be ready to doing other. So you don't need to fix it in one area to try to make it finish. You just go and rotate through the paintings. One place and then another place, another place, and you come back, they actually will be ready for you. Okay, on this side, like that. Okay, a little bit coming up over here, like that. That's good. That's a good suggestion. Now I'm going to get a little bit red color. Now working a little bit, suggestions in the lower eyelid. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look over here, a little bit red, like that. On the edge over here, I'm going to get a little bit red. Okay, that's good. Even more red. Okay, that's good. Okay, get to the corner over here. And inside over there has a little bit uh, light uh, pink red color. So I'm gonna just take a little bit red. Doesn't need to have a lot of color. Right over here, it should fill into a little color in here. That's good, right? It's not too dark, so wrap around right over here. That's good, like that. And connect that to the nostril. 
and that's good. I'm gonna come on this side and the bottom over here like that a little bit darker like that wrap around in this area that's good now walking into the lower lip you see that how tiny tiny shape you can you can make the suggestions that's good under the mouth there is some shadow so I'm gonna take this brown color you don't want to always make it really dark, okay? You have to see that in a very scale and how dark the color is supposed to be. It's, you don't want to make it always like a number nine, number 10, that kind of dark color. You don't need to make it also dark. In here, have a little big blue gray color. So add that in here. Here is the eye white, it's not just white. It actually have shadow. So we're going to add this color in here. Now I'm wash my brush. And I'm going to have a little transition. Okay, here we go. And this lighter, the up area is a little bit darker. That's easy. Okay. Have that transition. That's good. All right, now we're going to finish the eye. Now I'm going to add the a little bit darker warm color into the uh, upper eyelid, the top of eyelid first. Okay, a little bit over here. That on this side, a little bit shadow, and in between. There's two lines, they are a little bit darker. Coming in over here, and we're gonna fix anything we need to fix. Okay, a little bit over here. Okay, that's good. And take a look at the lower eyelid over here. That's a little bit more red, like that. That's good. Over here, we can set a little details inside. Okay, right over there. We can do a little cleanup at the corner over here. And I'm gonna have a little bit more red. Okay, right at the corner over here. Like that. Now I'm gonna add some much darker color. So I'm gonna take a little bit blue. Okay, that color. Be very dark, take a look. And start over here, all the way coming on this side. Okay, have a couple line coming up like that. Here you go. And take a look at inside the the pupil, the eye, up over here, a little bit darker. Like that. That's good. Right around the highlight, usually darker. And Behind this, this is the pupil. That's good. Like that. And the edge over here. Like that. Have a little bit line in between. Some texture look inside the iris. Now there's a little darker line coming from here. We know this is an eye, so you don't need to think. keep thinking about the eye. Just think about the visual element. You're saying that line, the shape, the color, this, all this we can help us to become a better painter. Okay, now looking into inside the eye over here. And the top over here, it just a little bit darker. There you go. A little bit darker color. Okay. And I have a little bit detail line coming out so you can keep enough 
suggestions so people feel like more convincing. Okay, now I'm going to give a lot of iris. The iris is not that dark, so you just give it a lighter color like this. Look at that. A little bit coming up. A little bit here. Like that. Here you go. That's good on this side. And pay attention. Like that. That's good. This brush can give you every detail that you can think of. Like that. And the corner over here. Even a little bit darker. Like that. Hey, right, that's good. And inside the nose over here, I'm going to get a little bit of red color right over here. That's good. Like that. I'm going to just have a little red color. Just see. Little the detail and the line coming in here, okay, like that. A little bit more red color, you see how tiny, tiny details you can do it, but you don't want to do it too early. A little line over here. And uh, that's good. And the top over here can be have a little bit darker. So the eye line over here, like that. And the corner over here. Okay. Very, very nice line. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the other side of the line. And the corner over here it has a little bit red. Smaller shape right there. Like that. And the upper eyelid. This is good. And the lower eyelid, set a little details, a little line coming on this side. Okay, like that. That's good. Look a little line and the top over here. So, all those small details you can do that at this time, get a little bit later of the painting step. Okay, now I'm going to set a little bit dark color inside of uh, the iris. I'm going to make some really, really dark color, just the blue and the red color. So over there, this way around the highlight. Take a look on this side. That's good. And 
exposure to the highlight. That's nice. Now take a look over here. Can you use a little bit darker color? And over here, can you use a little bit darker color? And around over here, I'm gonna have a little bit more blue brown color. And I have this a little bit merge into that. Because there's also the shadow side. Okay, like that. Nice transition. That's good. Okay, a little bit red color coming around over here. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to also lose a little line over here. I'm going to make it a little bit softer by using this calligraphy brush keep moving, 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 and the color get lighter and lighter. That's good. And like that. And I have a little bit brown color closer to the bottom. Look like that, and the top of there. And This small rendering has make it even more convincing. Okay, the last part, I'm gonna set the details to the sweater. First, I'm gonna mix a little skin tone and just the yellow and the red. That's very much is. Okay. I'm going to start adding some patterns in here. Take a look at that, and I'm going to set some details. Okay, that's good. Like that. Pay attention to um, how the patterns work together like this makes a little bit darker color for a bit more shadow so makes it a little bit darker this brown color right over here maybe a little bit too dark have a little bit red that's good like that it's good 